Uh, hi folks, uh, I hope you have a great day. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to add uh, dirt leak effect uh, to your texture in Substance Painter. So first of all, uh, let's make a new project. Uh, okay, uh, so I'm going to make a texture from texture set setting. So down here I'm going to select big mesh maps uh, put the resolution uh, as I want and select big selected texture uh, okay uh, I'm going to remove the default layer and add a rust material uh, here which uh, is default in substance painter I'm going to drag a drop it here uh, so I'm going to put a black mask on top of the layer and I'm going to add a fill layer uh, so uh, now I'm uh, going to import uh, the mask to substance okay let's go to new folder uh, here's the texture sets so uh, all you need is to drag and drop the mask here uh, now uh, okay drag and drop it to fill layer as our model are look like to a cylinder uh, I'm going to change the projection from UV projection to a cylindrical projection and change the repeat to just repeat it uh, horizontally uh, I'm going to change the scale a little bit down uh, and as you can see uh, the textures are repeating in horizontal uh, and as it's seamless uh, you, you are not able to uh, find the edges or seam so I'm going to put it uh, the leaks uh, from this edge something like that okay uh, now I'm going to add more variations to make it, to make it uh, more real so I'm going to uh, sorry I'm going to duplicate this layer and let's import another leak effect and uh, in the fill I'm going to put it here okay now I'm going to change the color uh, easily to make it uh, more real I think it's good for now uh, let's add another variation here let's duplicate this layer and okay. uh, actually now I'm choosing the mask uh, randomly but uh, in your project you can uh, check all the mask and choose the right one which is suit for you put it down here and in the color I'm going to this time I'm going to put uh, something darker green or something like that uh, and let's change the base leak effect to something else, something like this um, ok yeah, I think it's better now and you can easily change the opacity 
Yeah, something like this. So let's uh, add a base material to see what's happening in there. Yeah, I think this is uh, fine for this tutorial. Uh, I hope uh, this is uh, useful for you. And see you in next video.